this is a birthday. Yeah. It feels like my birthday. <laughs> How come? Because I got everything I wanted. And that's what's supposed to happen. If you're lucky. And I must be real lucky. Do you have to go to your Uncle Max tonight? I don't have to do anything. I'm on vacation from half dues. I can spend the next few hundred hours any way I like. And that means with you. We can dance and just laugh and play and love each other. Well, I want to take you someplace beautiful. I'm already there. So what do you have planned? Nothing. Nothing? Mm -mm. I absolutely refuse to plan or organize or schedule any part of this vacation. I just want to sleep in and wake up with you next to me. I want to act totally on impulse. Yes, me. Mm. Maybe I'll wake up and say, let's go ice skating. And if that's what you want to do, then that's exactly what we'll do. Uh, do I know how to ice skate? Trust me. Oh, that's right. I remember uh, seeing a picture in his room. He was some kind of hockey jack. Well, if you hate it, we don't have to do that. We can go to the movies, or we can go sledding, or we can take walks, or... Wait, wait. Have you ever been to the zoo in wintertime? It's amazing. I've never been to the zoo, period. See, that's why I like going places with you. It's like I get to show you the world. You already have. I can't believe this. I'm totally and completely free and with the person I want to be with most. And tomorrow is Wednesday and I don't have an eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Class. Actually, it's a chem lab. Mm. Have you ever smelled sulfur dioxide first thing in the morning? Ugh. And then I have to run all the way across campus to my poli sci seminar and then all the way back again to my chaucer and Oh my gosh, you hear what I'm doing? I'm mm. reciting my whole no. schedule. I'm sorry. No. Out, out, no, out. No. I thought I thought it was kind of interesting. Shh, not to me. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love Yale. I love learning, but for the space of one week, I do not want to think about it. All I want is you around the clock. That's all. That's all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Lots of chocolate ice cream, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, we could probably order that for room service. Room service. Yes, I said I want to take you someplace beautiful, and I meant it. I know someplace beautiful, and it won't cost us a penny. Suite at the Port Charles Hotel? Our boxcar. Yeah, that'd be great. But it's too cold. You can keep me warm. Well, then it'd be like camping outdoors, and I can't let you take that chance. Okay. I have room for exactly one serious moment. Let's get it over with. What I want, is it so impossible, is for us to just have a chunk of time where we can just relax and forget about all the demands like classes and papers and tests and and HIV. You want to forget your HIV positive? Let's just say, pretend to forget. Well, pretending is one thing, but taking chances. Is, is there something you haven't told me? About my health? No, absolutely not. Can you understand? I've spent my whole Christmas holiday being publicly HIV positive. But don't let it happen to you, girl. It was harder than I thought it would be. I know, I know, and I never did get why you wanted to do it. I don't know, maybe because I felt obligated. <sighs> well, isn't having it enough to handle? That's the point. See, people need to see that I can have it and a normal, well, almost normal life. I'm not saying I'm sorry I did it. 
I owed it to Stone. Well, all I'm saying is that you don't owe anything to anyone because you're sick. I'm not sick. I know. Sorry. Ugh. Mm. How did this get so fouled up? That's what happened. See, that's why I didn't want to talk about it. Jason. I found out I was positive just two weeks before Stone died. After the initial shock, it, it sort of took a back seat to the process of his dying and then to the grief. And then little by little, it seeped through into my life until it took up all the space. Every morning, it's the first thing I think about, even before I open my eyes. Good morning, Robin, you're HIV positive. Thanks, I knew that. And go on with my day. And then there's this grayness. Only the morning I woke up with you on Montauk was the first thing I felt was loved. I just felt so good inside. I, I just want more of that. No more discussions of my health, okay? Please, please, please don't say it's a bad no, idea. No, no, it's a terrific idea. Now, how can we make it work? <clears throat> okay, the boxcar. Maybe I can rig something up, some kind of heater. Without electricity? What, everything doesn't have to plug in? True, but every idea isn't workable either. Maybe we should just forget about the boxcar. Good. <laughs> what else? There's nothing in the world like loving you. Let's get out of here. Your room? <laughs> uh, we can't. Why? My room? I, I didn't know you were coming. It's a mess. You don't own enough things to make a mess, and the things that you do own are always where they should be. That's before I started to work on my engine. You're working on your engine in your room? Well, I have to rebuild my carburetor, and if I do it in Jake's parking lot, every time I turn my back, my parts get ripped off. The place is a grease pit. Come on, I don't care. You can blindfold me or put a bag over my head or something. Well, that won't work. Wait a minute. Okay, yeah. You have to give me two minutes before we go in there. All right. Okay? Two minutes. All right. All right. What are you doing? None of your business. Hey. All right. What's in the box? Oh, All right, just give me two minutes. Okay. Okay. No, no, uh, no, no. You're waiting out here. Oh, come on. Just let me in. I, I've been exposed to no, engine just, parts right, before. Just, just let me make up the bed. Okay, stay All out right. there. You know, we could we could stay at the Port Charles Hotel still. No way. Come on, just let me in. I'll help you. Come on. All right, I'm almost done. Hold on. Ah. What happened? Uh, I got clean sheets.
we were supposed to be in bed. <laughs> yes, but we're starving, remember? No. No. Mm, pancakes, bacon, mm. chocolate ice cream. <laughs> okay. All right, but we're gonna come back and take a nap. If I told you how happy you make me. 